Hey there, YouTube. Well, here we are. Another day, another beer. Don't know why I'm stuck on this. Anyway, we're gonna um, we're going to judge, review the uh, Bayshore Oyster Stout. Exit number one. Bayshore Oyster Stout. Beer brewed with oysters. Yummy. Um, this is from the Flying Fish Brewing, Brewing Company. That's here in New Jersey. And uh, I'm kind of interested in tasting this to see what it's about. But we're going to do this um, a special way this time. We're using an official judging sheet. And I'm going to judge this beer. It's category 13, subcategory E, American Stout, specialty ingredients, oysters. Now the reason they're doing this is that um, apparently stout and oysters go way back, uh, back to the UK. Um, and uh, apparently it was also enjoyed here in the States on, uh, in those areas where there was um, oyster beds. So, we're going to try this out. Bottle is, um, like usual, way the heck too big. Let's see if I can get this covering off. I already don't like the bottle. But we won't be judging it on the bottle, really. As long as there aren't any defects in the bottle, that's fine. There. Got that off. Mr. Preparedness has his opener. How's the fill level on that? Is good. And no slime room apparent, so everything's okie dokie there. No ring. Fill good. This is what you would be doing at a uh, beer judging event. Okay, let's pour some of this lovely brew. You can already see it's uh, a very dark stout. get a little bit of a head on there. Okay, now, I don't know if you can see that, but that is really, really lovely. It's beautiful. What a what an incredible head that's got on it. Now, can we see <laughs> cannot see light through there. So we'll have trouble judging clarity, but um then again, my little glasses aren't that far away. I should have gotten one to begin with. And uh, let's try this. Pour a small amount in. Well, ain't that cute. Okay, do we see anything through there? Oh, not really. When you get right near the edge, you can see a little bit. It's got a very beautiful dark, dark brown color. Very well within his style. Um, as far as color, it's jet black. I mean, that's pretty close. It's a really dark brown. Um, I hate to say this, the head is not persistent. It was pretty good. Um, and again, it could be my glassware. This is old stuff. It's been washed many times. It's probably got a lot of detergent that sticks in little cracks and crevices that old glasses develop. Um, wow, that's incredible. Okay. 
Aroma. Well, I'm catching a lot of molasses, roasted malt. Um, not really coffee or chocolate. Chocolate, possibly. Actually, a little bit of vanilla, which kind of goes hand in hand with chocolate. And uh, there's some burnt aromas, but they're very low. Really nice. Um, I'm not catching hop aroma, so that's probably pretty low on the on the uh, chart here. Um, not catching any esters or any other uh, fruity flavors. No diacetyl. Um, diacetyl is um, kind of a butterscotchy kind of taste or aroma, um, kind of like um, butterscotch or really uh, bad movie theater popcorn. So. Thankfully, none of that. Let's take a taste. Okay. Yeah, I taste the uh, the roasted malts. It's a bit chocolatey in the flavor. Definitely has a burnt, um, I wouldn't say coffee flavor, but you can tell that there's uh, black patent malt in there. It's got a very burnt flavor to it. It's very distinctive. Um, not overwhelming. I wouldn't call it prominent, but it's getting close. I think I would prefer this if it had a little bit less um, of the black patent malt in it. it. It's within style, I think, but very very much towards the high end. Um, it's not terribly sweet. Well, I'm going to enjoy drinking the rest of this one. It's a very light beer. I don't know what the alcohol level is, but it doesn't taste of alcohol. Okay, what else am I getting in there? Very interesting. This actually <clears throat> reminds me a little bit of Guinness. I think it's a little bit more astringent than than Guinness is. Guinness has a different, a slightly different flavor. This is definitely an American stout. Um, there's a light burnt flavor at the finish. Very good beer, all in all. I would I would highly recommend this one. Um, it's got good hop bitterness, not a lot of hop flavor or aroma. Um, it's very. I mean, you can taste the roasted malt in it. I would say that's the prominent thing. There's also a, a flavor of um, the black patent or kind of burnt malt gives it a very nice um, crisp flavor in a way and uh, <clears throat> it's very moderately sweet not not really very sweet at all it's on the lower end of the sweetness for a stout um, it's a thick and chewy beer I, I would have to say that it it doesn't taste sweet but it's thick like it's should be sweet but it's not So, yeah, it's got a, a good medium body, um, creamy, yeah, creamy, I would say that that is a good, uh, good description of it. Creamy, the, the carbonation is there, it's not heavily carbonated, um, the bubbles are very small and uh, I think that adds to the mouthfeel, the, the kind of a creamy texture. It also takes away from what should be a very heavy beer. Um, it makes the, the smaller bubbles kind of um, running across your tongue. It cuts the 
the sweetness and the heaviness of it makes it a very very nice very drinkable beer I would say they, now they say medium high to high carbonation now, I'm not sure about that I would say medium carbonation um, so if that's the case this beer isn't quite in style there are a few things that's on the border uh, carbonation is definitely out light moderately strong alcohol warmth really I'm not detecting that um, let's see what the alcohol level is in this if we can hopefully it will say somewhere seven percent by volume so it is actually a rather high alcohol um, beer seven percent is nothing to sneeze at it's right at the very upper end of, of the style and uh, yeah, that's my that's my judgment, and I'm sticking to it. So we've got um, the aroma of. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother writing that out. We don't need to do that here. Here again, take a look at the label. This is from Flying Fish Brewing Company. Exit number one: Bay Shore Oyster Stout. Beer brewed with oysters. Now I don't know that uh, I pick up any oyster flavor in there um, so if it actually is brewed with oysters that's kind of disappointing I do not detect oyster in there at all um, if you're actually judging this beer in a competition you'd have to detect oyster flavor in there um, this would this would be a major fail for that um, it would have to be in the aroma and flavor and it's not there Thankfully, it's not in the mouthfeel because that'd be nasty to swallow in chunks of slimy oyster. So, there you have it. My review Bayshore Oyster Stout. Good stuff. Try it.